Hello everyone. Today I have a question for you. Do you like to eat meat or do you like to eat vegetables? Or we say plant-based eating. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Anita again. Today I would like to talk about why should we uh, eat less meat. Hello everyone, here it is. It's Anita again. I have a question for you today. What would you like to eat? Um, meat or vegetables? You know, we know there are meat eaters and uh, plant-based eaters. Which one are you? Um, which ones are you? Um, you know, I heard a uh, story. Like 20,000 years ago, uh, we don't have the anatomy uh, you know, um, to observe people, human, with human's body, right? But uh, Confucius observed human's teeth. He said, um, there are 32 teeth of human being and the eight teeth in the front, right? Uh, up level uh, and the lower level, four of each. So it's totally eight um, canine teeth. Uh, others are flat teeth. So by this observing, Confucius told his disciples, if there are four days diet, we should eat three days vegetables and one day meat. Because he, he thought and the uh, canine teeth are for eating meat, and the flat teeth are for the plant-based uh, eating. So since we have eight, you know, um, canine teeth and, you know, 24, flat teeth so uh, according to that you know structure we should eat more vegetables and less meat and actually according to the science you know the nowadays anatomy showed us a human being we are should be you know plant-based eater uh, first of all although we have several we have eight um, canine teeth but uh, you know some Herbivores like the camels, like the elephant, they are totally, you know, plant-based eater. But they still have several a few canine teeth. Uh, that's not for meat eating. Actually, that's for the roots, tubes, nuts, or some fruits. Some fruits can be very hard, right? Uh, like the apple. Uh, human being, if we want to eat our apple, we cannot just put in our mouth. That's too big and then too hard, right? We have to use the front cannon teeth to uh, bait a piece of it and then chew it. So, for um, some uh, herbivores, uh, the cannon teeth are still for the uh, plant-based eating, not for the uh, meat eating. So. Even human being, we have the canon teeth, that doesn't mean uh, we are meat eater. Okay, there are some other proofs, um, like, uh, you know, for the uh, carnivores, uh, the meat eater, those animals, they have a big mouth, and some as big as their head size, and then, uh, you know, they can open their mouth bigger and then, then uh, to um, eat other animals. And then they have a stable jaw, uh, which, you know, as a um, uh, base. So there are other teeth, can they mostly, most of them can and teeth can, uh, you know, like uh, can cut, slice the meat, uh, the prey they, they got, they captured. So their jaws are, are very stable. And then they also have sharp. Uh, sharp claws, you know, like the bear, you know, it, it almost can kill people. And see our humans and the um, upper worlds. We don't, we have small mouths, right? Um, we don't have the uh, um, sharper claws. Uh, we don't have a stable jaws, uh, you know. Uh, that means, you know, if we 
you know, bed on a um, pre, we may uh, just drop it uh, because <laughs> in the battle, right? Because, you know, um, the animal is moving, so if you don't have a stable jaw, it may just uh, lost it. So that's another proof. Um, human beings uh, uh, belong to the group of the uh, herbivores. Also another thing, um, the science has found the um, small intestine and of the human being and the herbivores, the length of the um, small intestine is uh, 8 to uh, 11 times uh, of their body length. But for the carnivores, it's only 0 0.8 to 1 times of their, their body length. So that means, you know, if we eat the plant-based uh, food, they stay in our body uh, as long as 5 or 7 days because we have so long uh, small intestines. Um, for the uh, carnivores, their small in intestines is only like a 0 0.8 or 1 times of their body. So they eat in the morning, they, you know, they get out uh, in the evening. Also, they have a huge stomach. Human beings and the uh, herbivores, they don't have a huge stomach. Um, so for the carnivores, they eat once a week. They make just a kill once in a week and they eat a huge, you know, uh, animal and then they can uh, live for a week. But uh, for our body, human beings' body and the herbivores, uh, we need to eat regularly each day. So that's the difference. And um, so because the plant-based food, uh, they stay in our body and uh, the universe, you know, designed that way. So it's good, it's okay because the plant-based food, there are not uh, many, uh, you know, uh, bad things, um, bacteria or even the uh, bad meat, right? So they can uh, keep, uh, digest them for several days. Uh, but the, you know, the animals, the meat, they may be damaged, they may be rotated, they may be wounded. Anyway, there are maybe a lot of bacteria, germs in, in that, right? Uh, so the uh, carnivores, uh, they have uh, lower pH acid uh, in their stomach, so they can digest those meat well. But uh, for human beings, and the uh, herbivores, we have higher, you know, pH acid value. Uh, that means we, we don't have much uh, uh, strength to digest those, uh, you know, meat. Uh, they are designed differently. So, you know, from all this uh, evidence, we can see a human, you know, um, anatomically was designed to eat plant-based food. And someone maybe say, you know, although we don't have sharp claws, we have weapons, right? We can, uh, you know, kill animals with the weapons. And also with the fire, we can cook the meat, right? Um, so we can kill all the bacteria, all those things. And yes, we can eat meat. Yes, you can. But, uh, you know, and um, just to say the, the modern science clearly shows human beings uh, were designed to eat vegetables, plant-based food. So what's the uh, mm, bad side of eating meat? Some people feel good, you know, feel happy when they are eating meat. Uh, they taste good, right? Uh, I even heard some people say they, they want to be happy if, if they see uh, there are no meat in a meal, maybe in any meal, they like to eat meat every, every day, you know, uh, that's against the uh, nature, our body's nature, uh, that's not good for you. Uh, why? Uh, first, nowadays, you know, uh, the animals were fed by the um, like, uh, antibiotic hormones you know, to keep them from the disease or from uh, other bad things. So in their body, like the core, you know, so big, right? They, they must consume 
a lot of uh, an antibiotic and uh, hormones. So when we eat those meat, it goes in our body too. You say I, I just eat organic meat, um, <laughs> like a green meat, right? No, no poisons. Um, okay, we can imagine what uh, the animals feel when they were slaughtered, uh, like the chickens, the pigs, the cows, when they were slaughtered, what do they feel? They feel painful, uh, not only painful, but fear. You know what fear can uh, cause? Fear can cause toxins. Science approved the fear can accumulate um, toxins in your body. Um, it, uh, it can accumulate uh, for 90 days. So, you know, for so many chickens, animals, when they were slaughtered, they, uh, when they were killed, um, they uh, gain a lot of toxin uh, in their body. So basically, when we are eating meat, we are eating, eating <laughs> toxins and drugs. Um, you don't believe that? You know, I heard a story, a, um, a descendant from another country, you know, fled um, to America and he hid in the wood, you know, for two years. In those two years, he was uh, uh, so scared, you know, he, he was afraid and uh, he was caught it. And then uh, after he finally saved, um, but uh, his uh, kidneys uh, collapsed uh, just after a few months. Uh, why? Because you know the, those two years, uh, uh, his fear, you know, all already damaged his kidneys. So even after he uh, arrived at a safe place, uh, his kidneys still uh, collapsed. So he had he had to stay in the hospital for four years. And after that, uh, he can do the uh, routine things, but you know what? He has to take a medication all his life every day for that. Uh, because the kidney govern the bones, um, grow marrows, and then uh, it's connected with the brain. Yeah, it's a serious stuff. This person's story approved, you know, how fear can uh, generate the toxin and uh, accumulate in the uh, body, in animal's body or in human's body. So um, after we know all, all, all of this, you know, our body, human's body was uh, designed anatomically and to uh, well suited to the, uh, you know, plant-based uh, eating. Also nowadays, you know, the um, uh, abuse of the antibiotic and hormones in the, uh, you know, industrial meat produce factory. Uh, so there are a lot of, you know, uh, toxins, drugs in the meat. Uh, so basically when we were eating meat, uh, we are not uh, only eating the uh, meat, we are eating the toxin and the uh, poisons and the drugs and also our body have a too long um, the small intestine uh, you know uh, it will keep the meat in our body uh, very long time and those uh, poisons will damage your other organs inside so think about that um, maybe we may you know change our diet a little bit and then yeah, if you cannot live, uh, cannot live without meat, uh, so you have to eat. Just think about that, and then uh, we may take more good food uh, to nourish our body, so we can live healthier and live longer. Yes, I also heard people say some um, plants, you know, some vegetables, we cannot eat them too much. Uh, you know, you cannot from this extreme to another extreme, um, you know, for human beings, right? We are not as um, large as elephants. Uh, maybe some 
uh, plant elephants can eat, we cannot because our uh, cells are so small. Maybe we cannot, uh, you know, digest those things. Uh, so that's uh, uh, what we should be uh, keep an eye on this on that. Uh, not uh, all the uh, plants are suitable for your body. You have to try and then uh, gradually to know, to learn about them, which one is good for you, which one is not. So just take the good ones, suitable ones. And then for those you cannot digest, uh, you know, just uh, uh, leave them out of your diet list, right? And thank you for watching. Um, see you in my next video. If you would like to see more of my video, you can uh, look up to here or here. If you would like to watch more of my videos, you may subscribe to my channel here. Thank you. See you in my next video.